Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Um, hope everyone is doing well. Thanks to all my new and returning subscribers. It's uh, been a while since we came back from Tennessee and I'm kind of getting back to, into the normal routine. We, we recently had um, a friend from the States come and visit. He came on a business trip and uh, this other um, couple, mutual friends of, of ours, of our friend that came, of ours and our friend who came for, on a business trip, they gave him a suitcase, like a small carry-on, basically, um, of gifts for us. And, and in it was, I think, three bags of Oreos. <laughs> they, they knew we really liked Oreos and how much they cost here. You know, they're like 10 bucks here. Um, whereas when we were in, in Nashville, it was like, we'd get them from Walmart for like, I think three, 350, which Walmart, I remember way back before we moved here, it used to be 250 at Walmart. But anyway, so yeah. So they gave, they gave us regular Oreos, dark chocolate, and mint. Oh, mint, my favorite. And um, so we were quite we were quite happy with that. And then um, you know they bought us some other some books and things. Um, the Oreos was the <laughs> the biggest uh, hit. And um, so yeah. Oh, and, and the funny thing was too that yesterday I actually um, found I found another pack of the. Um, what do you call it? Pretty much knockoff of Thin Mints, of uh, Girl Scout Thin Mints. Um, I had bought, I think, I had bought several boxes, like two or three boxes. I brought, I brought from um, Nashville um, after when I when I found them at Dollar Tree, and they taste just like Thin Mints. And man, they're so good. I just wish I, you know, had had way more. And so anyway, I finished all of them like within the first two weeks of coming back. And I was like, oh, you know, I wish I could just go back to Dollar Tree and get some more. But yesterday I found, I ended up, because um, I, I like to keep my cookies in the fridge, but being so humid here. Anyway, I ended up finding one more little pack because in the box it's like two little foil sleeves of cookies. And so... I actually had found one more. I guess I totally forgot about them and they were kind of like tucked, tucked away in the back of the fridge. And as I was going through the fridge yesterday, I found it. I was like, oh my gosh, I have another pack of um, the, what the Dollar Tree calls them. The, the, the ones that they're called in Dollar Tree is called fudge mint cookies. But anyway, so <clears throat> I was so excited to find another pack. Man, this bug. So anyway, that's just some uh, fun, just a, a little bit of excitement that I had, um, I wanted to share. So, and um, also I got a tea haul, just wanted to share for all you tea lovers that might be interested or maybe never even have had tried the teas um, that I'm about to show you. It's just two, two different kinds. But um, I like to buy them in bulk, and I like to buy them loose. These I got from, I ordered from Amazon. The first one is hibiscus, which I actually am growing growing right now in my garden. I have um, in the plant for specifically that hibiscus tea comes from. I mean, I know people make them out of the flowers, but... Um, you know, even though this says flowers cut and sifted, it's, you know, just even on the picture, this is actually not the flower. This is actually the calyx of the flower. I'm not going to bother going into what the calyx is, but it's, well, I mean, it's the, basically, and this bug, mainly it's this, the base of the flower. You know, if you notice on regular flowers, like say like a rose, um, the very base of the flower is a green thing. The very base of it, that's like the calyx. And so for hibiscus or this particular 
variety that's used for tea is called roselle or hibiscus sab sabdorifa. That's the scientific name for it. So anyway, I'm growing that for the calyxes um, to make my own teas. But um, I didn't do too well last year growing it or earlier this year. I can't, yeah, earlier this year. I didn't it, didn't, it didn't do very well. I mean, I did harvest a little bit, but I mean, maybe it was enough to make like one, two cups, really. So um, I ended up just having to buy more, buy, buy some more until I can really figure out to do well and grow on my own. So anyway, it's one of my favorites. I know it's here in the Caribbean countries, um, they call them uh, sorrel. I know in Jamaica they call it sorrel. Um, the uh, Spanish-speaking countries, I know they call it Jamaica. Um, it's, smell, it's spelled Jamaica, but they pronounce it Jamaica. But anyway, so if you never tried it, give it a shot. Um, it's they they also call it they're also called like for the Florida cranberry. It, it's like a little bit like cranberry, like a little bit sour. And um, my favorite way to have it is um, cold iced and um, you know with some sugar so but yeah it's one of my favorites and it's really high in vitamin c and very similar to the second one also very high i think in vitamin c as well i can't remember if that was but this is the second one i got rooibos it's a south african tea and oh man it's so good really good it's I've had it before and only just recently had it again um, when some some friends of, of ours actually came and visited oh at, earlier this year in the springtime and they are at, they are actually from South Africa so um, and they gave us a box of uh, rooibos and so yeah so now it's like that, that's I gotta have it so I had to have a get a whole bag and it's just um. I like to, you know, so having a whole pound, both of those are pound each, that'll last a good while. So, yeah. And if you never try them, um, I can't really describe the, the rooibos too much. It's, um, but it's very healthy as well. And, um, I mean, if anything, just buy a box or if you know a friend that might have it, you know, get a tea bag from them or something like that and try it. You know, you never know. You might find another favorite tea of yours. For those of you that are tea drinkers. So, for my FOs, I have some snowflakes. The yarn I use for this were, is the Bella Coco Kaleidoscope. It's really pretty. I like it. It's like um, variegated. I guess you call it variegated, right? Because it's different colors in it. And it's mixed with white. So it's got the blue. It's got the, this one's blue and purple with a mix of white. This one is just the blue. Is it focusing? This one's just the blue and white. I made this. This one is just plain white with... This is from... What did I use? Oh, this is the Joanne Big Twist. And as you can see, the size difference between this one and this one, because the Bella Coco one is, uh, I guess it's like a, a three weight. It's a DK DK weight, whereas this one's a, a Joanne Big Twist is uh, worsted. This one is a purple and yellow. Another purple and yellow. So I have two of those. This one is like a what turquoise, I think. I don't know if it's showing up well enough. And then another another blue and purple. And blue and white. So, 
So those are the snowflakes I made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's, there's one more white one. So I've made 10 so far. Very, very quick and easy um, make for that. And this one is a whip. And I would want my whips. This is supposed to be a emoji ornament. And I didn't finish this because I need red, black, and I can't remember if there was one more color I needed. I have the black, but the red, I'm trying to find, see if I can find in my stash. And I'm trying to remember now. I, I can't remember if it was same size four or not, but um, man, it, one thing about um, not having access to good yarn shops or, you know, or having a good selection here because I can only, I can only get size four and um, Red Heart Super Saver. And it's just, for some of the things, some of the other projects, you know, that I want to do, it's like they call for like fine weight and, you know, but at least I can get embroidered with floss, but still, um, so I haven't finished this yet because I'm still trying to find the other stuff I need. Um, because I'm gonna, what I'm making is, oh no, I forgot what it was. If I'm, I think it's the emoji with the heart eyes. So there's that. And my other whip, same kind of same thing. I'm still, I gotta, or I'm trying to, I can't remember now what it, what it is I need, but this is um, unicorn. So as you, as you can see, I got the body already. I already did the snout. I did the ears, and I still need to do the eyes. I mean, of course, I gotta sew them on. I already have the pieces for it, and then I, and then I just, I just need to make the um, the curls for it. Oh, and the horn. So I will um, put up a picture of what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. Um, but yeah, so this is my. I haven't really. I can't remember why I didn't finish this. Oh, or at least haven't been motivated to finish it just yet, but I think that I wanted to get on the um, Christmas ornaments and things like that. So yeah, so that's my, I think that's my last whip for right now. Yeah, but so yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed and hope you're having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.